In the quaint town of Pleasantville, where time seemed to have frozen in the 1950s, I, Alex, led a life that defied the conventional roles expected of men. Here, men adorned classic dresses while women took charge as the leaders of the household and pursued careers. As the sun painted the sky in hues of pink and orange, I found myself amidst the vibrant buzz of Pleasantville's annual Housewives Day celebration. Excitement filled the air as my fellow housewives and I prepared for a day dedicated to embracing our feminine sides. The streets adorned with pastel decorations, I slipped into a charming floral dress, the fabric swirling around my legs. Laughter echoed as we exchanged stories of our daily chores, subverting the expectations of a traditional household. In our quaint community center, adorned with streamers and flowers, we gathered for the grand celebration. The room buzzed with chatter as we indulged in sweet treats and delicacies prepared by the talented housewives of Pleasantville. It was a day to savor the camaraderie that flourished among us, defying societal norms with each shared smile. Amidst the festivities, my wife presented me with a beautifully wrapped gift. I unwrapped it to discover a delicate piece of jewelry, a symbol of her appreciation for the effort I put into making our home a haven. The air was filled with genuine gratitude as each housewife exchanged thoughtful gifts, celebrating the strength and unity that defined Pleasantville. As the day unfolded, we engaged in lively games and danced to nostalgic tunes. The joyous atmosphere transcended gender norms, creating a haven where authenticity flourished. The day served as a reminder that in Pleasantville, our roles may be unconventional, but the bonds we shared were timeless. In the quiet moments after the Housewives' Day celebration, my wife and I found ourselves strolling through the serene streets of Pleasantville. The soft glow of street lamps illuminated our path as we reveled in the contentment that a year in this unique town had brought us. I can't believe it's been a year already, I remarked, a genuine smile playing on my lips. Being your housewife in Pleasantville has been such a rewarding experience. My wife, her eyes reflecting the same happiness, nodded in agreement. You've brought so much joy into our home, Alex. I've never felt more supported and loved. We reminisced about the challenges we had overcome and the laughter we had shared, acknowledging the profound shift in our roles and the strength it brought to our relationship. Pleasantville had given us a chance to redefine our partnership, transcending societal expectations and embracing a dynamic that felt authentic to us. I've never been happier, she confessed, squeezing my hand affectionately. And I can see the difference it's made for you too. As we continued our walk, the conversation took a surprising turn. My wife, with a twinkle in her eye, pulled out a small velvet box. I have something for you, something that symbolizes the freedom we've found here. I opened the box to find a pair of delicate earrings, but underneath them lay a voucher for breast implants. I looked at her, a mix of surprise and gratitude in my eyes. It's something you mentioned in passing a while back, she explained. I want you to feel completely comfortable and confident in your own skin, Alex. If this is something that would make you happy, I support you. Her acceptance and the thoughtful gesture left me speechless. In Pleasantville, where unconventional choices were not only accepted but encouraged, I felt a profound sense of liberation. It was a gift that went beyond the physical, emphasizing the unwavering support we had for each other's individuality. In the following weeks, the decision to get breast implants became a transformative experience for me. With the unwavering support of my wife and the accepting community of Pleasantville, I embraced the opportunity to align my outward appearance with the woman I felt I was becoming. The day of the procedure arrived, and I found solace in the caring hands of the skilled medical professionals in our uniquely progressive town. The anticipation mixed with excitement, as I knew this step marked another chapter in my journey towards self-discovery and authenticity. As the weeks unfolded, I felt a newfound confidence and joy. The subtle changes mirrored the internal transformation I had undergone since becoming a housewife in Pleasantville. The supportive network of friends and neighbors celebrated this choice, reinforcing the idea that true happiness comes from living authentically. In the charming streets of our town, I embraced my femininity with a sense of liberation. The swish of my dress and the gentle sway of my steps echoed the harmony I found within. Pleasantville, with its picturesque scenes and open-minded community, provided the canvas for me to express myself freely. 
At home, my wife and I continue to thrive in our roles. The division of responsibilities felt natural, and our connection deepened. As I adorned the classic dresses with a newfound confidence, I realized that being a housewife in Pleasantville was more than just a role. It was an empowering identity that allowed me to embrace the full spectrum of my being. The annual Housewives Day rolled around once again, and this time, I felt a profound sense of gratitude for the acceptance and love that surrounded me. My wife, understanding the significance of the journey we had embarked on together, gifted me a charming necklace that symbolized the strength of our bond and the freedom to be true to ourselves. As I stood among my fellow housewives, the joy in our hearts transcended gender norms. Pleasantville, with its unique blend of tradition and progressiveness, had not only allowed me to discover my true self but had also gifted me a community that cherished individuality. In the glow of the setting sun, I reflected on the incredible year that had unfolded. The decision to get breast implants had become a catalyst for a deeper understanding of my identity, and in the heart of Pleasantville, I found a home where happiness flourished in the acceptance of who we truly were.